Hello friends, this video on fractions and decimals part 19 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now how about adding decimal numbers? That is again something which you have already learned. So it is just a quick recap. So all that we do to add decimal numbers is we write the numbers under each other. So let us say the decimal numbers that you are trying to add are 129.6. This is one number and you are trying to add it with some number 342.1. So write these numbers under each other and then add column wise. So when you add them, you add them column wise. Basically the digit which is located at the tenths place. So this is the tenths place. This is the ones place, this is the tens place, this is the hundreds place. So just position the numbers in such a way that the tenths place digits are one under another. Similarly, ones place digits are one under another. And then you add them column wise. 6 plus 1 is 7. Put the decimal point. 9 plus 2 is 11. So you write 1 and you carry 1. 4 plus 2 is 6 plus you were carrying 1. So that is 7. And then you have 3 plus 1 which is 4. So the result would be 471.7. Please do not forget to put the decimal point because if you forget the decimal point, it becomes 4770 which is again a different number altogether. So let us look at some more examples. Say 345.986 and you have to add it to 23.8. So 23.8 can be written as 23.800, right? And before also you can put 0 because 1 is equal to 0, 1 is equal to 0, 0, 0, 1. So it's all the same. So this is how you have arranged such that the tens place are to get, are under each other, the ones place are under each other, the tens place under, are under each other and so on. And then you add it column by. So 9 plus 8 is 17. So you carry 1. Put a decimal point, 5 plus 3 is 8, plus this 1 becomes 9, 4 plus 2 is 6, and 3 plus 0 is 3. So this is 369.786. Let us look at one more example. Let's say you have to add 450 to 1986.2. You have to add these two numbers. So now let me check if you have understood or not. So how will you arrange these numbers? Let's say I have written 450 first. So 0 is at the 1's place. Now in this number, which digit is at the 1's place? This is at the 1's place. So you write 6 here. 5 is at the 10's place. So this is at the 10's place. So you write 8 here. 9 is at the 100's place. And 1 is at the 1000's place. And here after decimal you have 2. In this case you do not have the decimal point at all. That's basically because 450.0 is same as 450. You can even add a zero before. Why are we adding these zeros? Just to make sure that we have placed the digits at the right places. And then you add it column wise. It is 2, it is 6, this is 13. So you carry 1. Here 9 plus 4 is again 13 plus 1. So 14, again you carry 1. Here you have 1 plus this 1 becomes 2. So it is 2436.2. In a very similar way, we subtract decimal numbers as well. So here we write the smaller number under the bigger number. Because if you subtract the bigger number from the smaller number, what happens? The entire result gets, you know, uh, it, it gets half is it. So always write the bigger number first and then the smaller number under it and then subtract column wise. So let us look at examples. Let's say you have to subtract 10.05 from 35.25. So you write 35.25 and 10.05. And then you subtract. Again, you place it in such a way that the digits at the units place or tens place or tens place, they should be under each other. So 5 minus 5 is 0. 2 minus 0 is 2. You have a decimal point. 5 minus 0 is again 5. 3 minus 1 is 2. So the result would be 25.20. Let's consider one more example. Let's say you have to subtract from 101.62 and you want to subtract 9.013. So the bigger number is 101.62. So you write it first, then you have 9.013. So 9 is at the units place. So this is the units place. 
decimal point below decimal point and then 0, 1, 3. So here you can write 0, here also you can write 0 and now you can subtract. So 3 and here you have 10, so this would be 7 and again here you will have this carry forward 1, so it comes here, so 2 minus 2 becomes 0, so 6 minus 0 becomes 6. Again here 11 minus you, you take you borrow 1 from this side you borrow 1 from here so this becomes 11 so 11 minus 9 would be 2 again this becomes 1 because you have already you, you had borrowed 1 here right so this becomes 1 so here it is 10 so 10 minus 1 would be 9 again you give back that 1 so here it is 0 so the result would be 92.607. So now we have been discussing so much about decimal numbers. Have you ever come across using decimal numbers? Have you ever seen decimal numbers being used somewhere? Yes, of course, a lot of places. Now, many a times you would see that uh, the, the weighing machine that you have in most of the grocery shops. So there it shows when you buy something, say for 0 0.5 kgs, 2.5 kgs. So that is one place where you get to see the decimal numbers. Another place is uh, the vegetable market. So in the shops where you have the price tags, when you look at the price tags closely, you see 2.49, 1.5, 3.5 and so on. So that is another place where you see decimal numbers. Look at the thermometer, when you look at the temperatures, so how do you read the temperatures? Now let's say the uh, marking is 20 and then 30, but your level is somewhere here. So how do you read it? It is nothing but 22.2 degrees Celsius. So these are some of the places where we actually come across decimal numbers. Now why I am saying this is you should feel that these are certain things which, which are needed in our life, which we come across. Only then you will have that enthusiasm to learn more about them. You look at your bank account summary. You look at the interest rates given by banks. They are in the form of 5.5% interest rate, 9.1%. Or when you look at the uh, bank accounts, you see uh, it is often written as rupees 8500.50, rupees 3400.75 and so on. So in those kind of bank statements also you come across a lot of decimal numbers. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.